before I get even <coughs> more creeped out. Jump off that little waterfall. Oh, 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 wait, can I? I didn't even realize that. Jump. No. Jump. I, I hear something popping out of the ground. What is it? It, it, it sounds like a crab. Maybe. I thought you knew about the little water <gasps> monster. I know who that is. I know who that is. What is? Remember, we're a couple seconds behind, so we don't know what's going on. Uh, really? I jumped off and I got spotted. Oh, I found a Mega Stone. A aerial, a aerial Dactylite. Oh well, I, I missed that one. Whatever it was, but I, I got to make. Wait, I hear oh, another. I hear another one. Dino or Daniel. Oh, wow, you didn't get there, Dactylite. I didn't know it was there. Oh, now I know what I'm gonna do when I restart. Really, I got spotted again for real. Cause, I, cause I had to jump off the ledge. It spotted me. Why, why yeah. is why is Dino even in this cave? That's uh, kind of fine though. And the fact that it's level forty. Yeah, that's uh, it's not too bad actually. Now, uh, I don't want yeah. a Lunatone. Shut up. Uh, no, not you. The Lunatone. I think if it hits level forty-two, oh no, no, I think it's when it hits level fifty or fifty-one, it evolves to the two-headed one. And then Hydrodon at 64. Yeah, it's uh, as well as I think it's called. Yeah, Which... as well as. And part of the names is one, two, three in German. <clears throat> yeah. Isn't that where Black and White White's map was based off of? Like a no. No, Black and White were based off no, the, United based off, uh, the United yeah, States. The United States. Now I'm thinking of um, Carlos, and that was French. France. There, there we go. The, the, um, that's Callus was based off of France. Anyway, let's get out of here and go to wherever Steven is going to because we have to go wherever he goes because he is the plot. That water's pretty. Just do what I do. Actually, wait. Don't you have a poem when we dig? No, no, actually, I do. You'll see it in a second. There we go. I was about to say, like, you're using an escape rope or dig. So they're trying to maneuver your way up to the cave. Saves time. Oh, look, there's a um, hidden base right there. Don't need it yet. Damn you. Dom, Dom, yo. Why would you need fly when you got a Mega Latias? Um, I'm only gonna use it if it's a, if the path to wherever I'm going is far away. <laughs> only if it's far away, and plus, uh, I don't need more loading screens. No, you need all the loading screens. Wah! Uh, everyone's gotta bump into me, I'm just a kid. Oh, by the way, speaking of ouch, I, I made a me in Smash Brothers uh, for you. I only put up his power, and I, na I named him Ouch, because his defense is atrocious because of it. I bet. Yeah, I know, I made a... whatchamacallit? I made Phil a uh, me fighter, and you a me fighter. You're the gunner, and Phil's a sword fighter. And your gunner's wearing a western outfit with a little flower on your head. Phil gave me a tuxedo, and made me a gunner as well. Yeah, I know. I just scared myself right now. I feel so stupid. I was like moving my little, you know, swivel chair back and forth, and then I saw the shadow behind me. It's so all sudden, it looked like someone was creeping up behind me. So I turned around. It was the damn chair. <laughs> it could be as bad as what happened to me the other day. I was literally playing on Xbox, and there's like a, a little mirror on the wall in the living room, which like literally across uh, from where the TV is. Well, not across, but uh, like angled to the side of where the TV is. So I'm over here talking to my friends right I'm like, oh, I gotta go take a piss over here back. Pause the game, take on my headphones. I get up and I saw my own reflection and I jumped. Eh. So I scared, I scared myself. Uh, you don't have to feel too bad about it. Oh yeah, I feel too bad about it. Because that means I'm freaking, I frightened myself. That's insulting. Uh, 
I, you know, I should have put a, I should have put a amulet coin on, uh, on that swampert instead. Oh, now you're showing off the buffness. Yeah. Didn't uh, do that like a minute ago when you find the old people. They were threatening, man. Yeah, I'm gonna go mega on the muck as well, cause I, I'm pretty sure uh, aren't aren't muck uh, like really uh, bulky in the uh, defense department. Uh huh. Team Aqua grunts at out muck. And earthquake. You know, you know this, this game, the Pokemon series is supposed to be like children based, whatever. Even though there's like a lot of adults that play too, me myself included. Uh huh. And, uh, I don't know if you ever read some of the Pokemon Pokédex entries. Oh, I have, like, like, uh... Kind of freaking creepy. Like, uh, what's one of the Sinnoh Pokemon based on a balloon where it says it takes children to a high place or something? Yeah, pretty much kidnaps little children, whatever. And, and there's a couple that talk about how they, uh, devour or, or like, kill, kill certain things or... What was it? Litwick, uh... Take, no, absorbs not their life. No, not no. Litwick. It was um his evolved form. I forgot the name. Sh Shandalor. Yeah, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Was it? Yeah, yeah. That's the look, the freaking lantern or whatever. The chandelier. Yeah. yeah. Chandelier. Yeah, just like how drowsy. I think it's like. It, it like eats to dreams of children because they're like more sweeter or whatever. It really eats the dreams of adults or some shit like that. Yeah. Oh no, it wasn't Chandelure. It was the second evolution lamp and it was the, the spirits it absorbs fuel. It's built for fire. It hangs around hospitals waiting for people to pass on. Wait, which one is that for again? The second evolution of Litwick. <laughs> Lampin. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, you got some real fucking creepy ones on here. Waiting for it waits for old it, it waits for the the dying to decease so that they could just, you know, you know, let me just take your soul and just be on my way. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, moving on. Team Aqua sold the control device for the link cable that our company had been developing. It's a special eh, sorry. Hold on a second, let me move this over. Herp. A special tool called the Dimensional Shifter. <laughs> the person who stole it, it was a huge man with bulging muscles. Matt. Mm -hmm. Matt. Not your Matt. This Matt. Bulging muscles. <laughs> anyway, uh, you said I was supposed to have like a rock or something and then give it to Steven's dad. And then he'll examine it, right? Intriguing stone, but I don't think you have that in your inventory. I, I, I guess I don't. <laughs> Talk to him anyway, just to see. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, I'm talking. I'm about to talk to him right now. But uh, how do you doubt it? Because I didn't see it in your inventory. Yeah, he he he's not budging about it. He's just like, oh, that meteor, that meteor. Oh yeah, 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 that meteor. <clears throat> you know which other Pokemon had creepy text entry? Ben, ba bayonet or bunnet? I thought you were about to say banana. <laughs> I was thinking about it, but no, <laughs> no, um, that freaking creepy ass doll. Doll? I think it was in. Yeah, I think it was in. I think it was in Pokemon Emerald. The the freaking the Dex entry said that it was like an abandoned plush doll, and it became like possessed, or whatever. And it said to like search for the the children that threw it away, or the child. What to get revenge? I guess yeah. I don't remember the Dex per se. And then Hone Edge, either Hone Edge, Double Blade, or Age Slash. Pretty much whoever, if you wield it as a weapon, it absorbs your life. Sucks the energy right out of you. Completely? Or is it was it yes, completely or com just some of it? No, completely. The longer you hold on to it, the more it takes. I was like, geez, man. What, what if it was a, an, a, an Aegis Slash holding a. Uh, holding another own edge? Uh, wouldn't work. They just cancel each other out. Uh, let's go, Grunts. And that's another thing too, even in the, the latest Pokemon X and Y, I think it was Y. Yveto or Yelto, whatever the hell you pronounce it? Uh, e Evolto, yeah. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, apparently, I forgot the decks per se, but in 
put it if you just put it simply, if it dies, everybody dies. Wait, for, it, oh, for Evolts? Yeah. Yeah, the thing for Xerneas is the opposite. It gives life energy while Evolts will take it away. Yeah, because I think it was like when it come when when this life comes to an end or whatever, it absorbs the life energy of every living thing, and it turns into a cocoon. So that being said, if that is true, it basically if it dies, everybody dies. Oh, that's uh, that's not, pretty serious. Not a great thing. Oh yeah, I found the uh, make a stone for Beedrill as well, and I do have a shiny Beedrill sitting in my box right now. Really? I think I'll show that off right after we take care of the uh, problem here. You know, in all honesty, and this is my opinion, but I think Mega Beedrill was pretty lazy. I don't right. get me wrong, it looks cool and everything, but it there wasn't really any drastic change from its regular to its Mega, besides like its little stinger or whatever being slightly different, and its um, wings. Like its little tiny wings and the stingers all being like slightly bigger, but that was about it. Oh too different. I was like really upset. You know, we're about to find fight the qu qu quintuplet grunts. Mm -hmm. We finally meet again. It's been three or how long has it been? Ninka poop. It doesn't matter. Brace yourself. We won't let this. We won't let you call us mere quintuplets. Yep. I wonder if someone uploaded the music for them because they have their they they actually have their own unique encounter theme which we just heard. And they're sending out five mighty Inna. Let me guess, they all have Intimidate, right? Right, Rick? They all have Intimidate, right? That's one. Um... Two. Three. Oh, that's why I told you, man. Four. Give me a five. There we go, we got a five. You get Intimidate, he gets Intimidate, she gets Intimidate, everybody gets Intimidate. Oh, actually, they're all... And you're not even fighting Oprah. Oh, I, I wish I wish Oprah was a trainer here. Then I could call Oprah my favorite supervillain. <laughs> Who is your favorite favorite no, no, no. gaming boss of all time? Oprah. No, Oprah is without a doubt my favorite supervillain. <sighs> I'm sorry, I went good there. Thing, good thing you had Earthquake. Because trust me, trying to kill them all one on one, you would have had a problem. Really? Okay, of course. <clears throat> of course, one of them used Roar, and I happen to have Intimidate myself, so... One, two, three, four, five... And another one uses Roar? For, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, good, you sent out Swamper. Guess what I get to do? Guess what I get to do? This whole freaking fight is just a joke. <laughs> Guess what I get to do? Oh, that's why, man, you gotta have Swampert out. You don't listen to me. Well, Did I warn you ahead of time? I think I'm gonna nickname Swampert Chris Red Redfield. I'm gonna do that. I'm about to, I'm about to breach a Swampert when I hit Mudkip. I'm gonna name it Chris anyway, Redfield. May, I, anyway, you'll see. I just Mega Evolved it, and now they all fold. They <clears> fall <throat> down like dominoes. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. No, literally, they literally fell down like like dominoes. Uh, banana Split. Uh, what, what, what's up, Banana Split? And speaking of bananas. <laughs> Uh, we have a user with banana in his name. You need the that whole that whole Mariana fight needs to be fucking highlighted. <laughs> you know, just uh, the the mighty the domino effect for Mariana. Oh, you know what other Pokemon has a weird Pokedex? Um, Spoink. Oh, I know. Uh, if if it stops jumping, its heart stops beating. Yeah, that's pretty effed up. That that uh, that makes me feel insanely bad for it. Like, hurry up and evolve so you can live. Did you cheat, Grumble Grumble? So here's what kills me: the ever all of them using intimidate, they did it on purpose. They outright said, "Oh, how'd you get through our five intimidate strategy? Did you cheat, Grumble Grumble?" <laughs> it's pathetic, but we can't stop them. Please, please stop. Wait, they want me to stop them? For what? What happens? Dude, man, they could have just beat the little kid up. If we were a Hone Ranger, we could have won in style. Now we have Power Rangers, we have the Fe Featherman R in Persona, and now we have Hoenn Rangers. <laughs> yep. Oh, they finally went to sleep. Oh, freaking god. 
Yeah. Trust me, when those puppies get worked up, they do not shut up. Oh, no, no, here's the thing. They said our five intimidate strategy should have worked. It would have been invincible. Get two of you used roar. Yeah, invincible. My foot. You resetted your intimidate strategy. Invincible, your ass. Really? Banana, sp Banana Split, the Delta episode, is a post game event that happens after you beat the champion in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Basically, it's. An uh, hour and a half long, and you basically fight and capture Mega Rayquaza, and you fight Deoxys. That's basically what it is. Hey, I feel like we're about to fight again, so let's save the game. Maybe. Hi, Steven. Your timing is impeccable, mm -hmm. as always, Jet Mike. Well, I blame Rick. I didn't do it, I swear. Team Aqua, what do you intend to do with that device? You do realize this is the last hope we have of saving this planet. What was that? What? Last hope? Huh. Huh. <clears throat> Laugh. Laughter. I ain't laughing one bit, punk. Incredible Hulk over here, freaking about to go Hulk smash on Steven. My bro. My bro who I love so much. Are you trying to tell me that everything we've done up until now, that ties that bind us, all of it was a mistake? My bro has changed since he got mixed up with you. How convenient it must be for one for you to put the blame on another. Shut it, I'm I'm mm. You know what? That rocket's full of crazy amounts of energy. It's even more awesome than the ultimate weapon that ended the war three thousand years ago, right? Uh we know according to X and Y, we know exactly how dangerous that was, especially since Lazandre and aimed it right at us. Mm-hmm. How we how I, oh, I'm still it's crazy how we survived that but whatever. If I use the keystone I found at Meteor Falls, I can force the energy inside the rocket to explode. Yes. It'd be like a mega evolution for the rocket. Oh, I just said that. Who needs a meteoroid? I'm gonna bring an end to all things with my own power. The one who completes the project Azoth and take the world back to its beginnings is me. Watch your mouth, Mike. Jet Mike, this fool. This incredible fool really intends to do it. If we don't stop this now, our whole world will be embroiled in destruction. Hold on, so he he's going to turn that rocket into a nuke? Is that what he was going to do? Maybe. A mega evolution for the rocket. As much energy as it was, more even more so than 3,000 years ago. That thing would have done ended, some... Ended the whole Pokemon series as we know it. Some absurd collateral damage. No, not even collateral. That's just outright devastation. Yeah, post-apocalyptic. That'd be cool. Post-apocalyptic Pokemon game. The world's all crap, and there's like very few Pokemon left. Actually, that sounds like a fanfic. I take it back. Uh, did, uh, how how pissed off was this dude that he was gonna turn the rocket into a nuke? You turned his dude into a, I don't know, not a dude or a bro, whatever the hell he called it. Well, who are you fighting? Him? Yep. I have a Sharpedo. He has a Sharpedo. Happy, happy, happy. Oh, you find the both. Kick her in the balls. I cer certainly will. The opposing Sharpie to Matt's Mega Ring. Oh, he probably has the Mega Sharpedo. See, oh, Mike? that's oh, that's great. And his is level fifty-five. You see, Mike? That's why I told you, man. You need to have Swampert out. But no, don't listen to Rick. I got this, Rick. I don't got hey, this, shiny, Rick. Shiny Mega Sharpedo looks so weird. I mean, it's the same thing, but pink. What, you don't like pink? Some Pokemon that looks alright in the rest, especially shiny. Nah. Well, the Mighty N is out. Yeah, I know, but Sharpedo is taking hits, man. I don't know how long you'll be able to take hits. Well, Steven's doing a fine job at using, uh, using that Aerial Ace on it. You know, instead of switching to something a little stronger, a little better, the former champion. Yeah, Mike, exactly, the former champion. You think his retarded ass knows any better? Just kill his Skarmory. Like, you know what you should do? Just attack it directly. Oh, I just <laughs> I, ju I just switched to Flygon. I thought it, it would have been better. I would have done that just to just have been an asshole. I would have just aimed directly at Skarmory and killed it. Well, the Skarmory took out the uh, Sharpedo, the Mega Sharpedo, excuse me. I like Flygon. I was really hoping he got a Mega, but nope. Yeah, that's why, like I said earlier, uh, in one of the um, 
in one of the TV reporter battles, uh, they, they said, How are you feeling? I typed in Mega Flygon. <laughs> I remember you said that in the last stream, I was laughing. <laughs> How are you feeling, Mega Flygon? I'm feeling Mega Flygon. Oh, wait, it's, it, he, I can't because he's, it's not here. It doesn't exist. Sad face. I knew I wouldn't win, but hey now. Sad face. Whoa. Oh. Oh. You just destroyed that freaking muck. Dang it. Am I not good enough, bro? Jet Mike, now's our chance. Take the dimensional shifter and... Plot. Yep. Mur, 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 mur. Aster snatched the dimensional shifter away from Matt. That Pokemon doesn't belong to? Nice one, Aster. Oh dear, here, here comes Cycle Girl again. You're the... The dra dr dr Draconid, yep. Or you could just call me Zinnia. Let's just, call her, M let's just call her M Crazy Cycle Bitch. Uh, let's wait until later. Maybe some. Maybe she'll put on even more of a show. Oh, yes, she will. But Thank you. Fine. Thank you, dear. Now then, that's an impressive machine. Snap your fingers and the asteroid vanishes. And we all live happily ever after, right? Banana Split wants to know if you would do a Wonderlock or slash A maybe Nuzlocke. I don't know. Anyway, haha indeed. It's like the former champ said. The thing is best... Is that thing is the best hope we have of saving this planet and everything on it. But you know, it could also be the worst tragedy imaginable for some other world and everything on it. What are you trying to say? I'm not talking to you. You don't get it. Ugh. You know, it takes a lot to shut Steven up. Mm-hmm. But you, Jet Mike, hope for our world, tragedy for another. You get it, don't you? Of course I do. That, I mean, I was... And you come through again. You never disappoint me. My people know it. From generation to generation, we pass along the lore of... About the distortions in the world, born by the Mega Evolution Mechanism. And about the existence of another world, which we have long observed to be just like this one, yet not the same. That's right. A Hoenn that's exactly... Om that's almost exactly like the one we live in. Filled with Pokemon and people like this. A world where maybe the evolution of Pokemon took a slightly different path. Where Mega Evolution is unknown. A world where the war 3,000 years ago never happened. Oh, wait, it gets. Oh, wait, this gets better. Wait, this is something we have to definitely hear. Okay. A world where the ultimate weapon was never even built. And in that world of. Ho in that world. And ho the horn of that world. What would happen if one day, out of the blue, a meteoroid appear? What would happen to the people that of that world without the technology to destroy the meteoroid or the power to warp it away? Plot. Looks like it's beyond the p the power of your imagination. Zinnia crushed the dimensional shifter in her hand. Oh! I told you she's an endocrine psychovitch. Didn't we kind of need that to save the world? That's why I said you didn't believe me a second ago when I said let's call her M Crazy Cycle Bitch, but you were like, nope, later. Can we use it now? Sure, use it now. Yay, M Crazy Cycle Bitch just completely destroyed the plot. I mean, destroyed the world. The plot's still going. What kind of fool are you? You have no substan substantive proof, and yet you claim another world, uh, one just like our own exists? Out of the fantasy, you, you have destroyed our only hope. Mm. What have you done you shouldn't have done that farewell farewell bring brief hope you, you do you even know now what are we to do calm down there prof it'll be okay i we we can protect this world and the other who exactly is we what are your intentions oh yeah silly me by we they mean you <laughs> yeah me i forgot the only thing i came for Boom! Zinnia snatched the keystone away from Matt. <laughs> what? And that's the other keystone gotten. Now I'll put it together with the keystone they've got in their base. Looks like my appointment. My point. Well, yeah, my next appointment is calling, so I'll excuse myself later. She just like, oh, she snatched the keystone from him. I was about to say, did she like just bitch smack him and made him spin in a circle? Damn, how strong is she? I mean, Sh Shelly did that to a uh, to a random employee of the uh, Weather Institute. She, she just slapped him, and he just fumbled back like it was nobody's business. 
Yeah, and just like in Pokemon Black 2, you're like this guy, your rival, whatever the hell you called them, freaking like Super Falcon punched somebody from Team. Uh, what was the team you fought in Black and White? Plasma. And, Plasma, and, then, and then Neo Pla Neo Team Pl Oh, sorry. Neo Team Plasma and uh, Black 2, White 2. Mm. Yeah, they went from PETA to uh, Mercenaries in, in two games. Yep. All within a span of two years. Yep. Anyway, while well, these guys figure out what to do about saving the world, they already told us where to go, and we're going to go there to Team Aqua's hideout. Which means we get to go through the uh, warp puzzle again. Mm-hmm. Though I'm pretty sure uh, we're not going in the same direction as we were before, so. Nah, I don't think so either. Oh! <laughs> oh well, what's wrong? Did did you, did something come to mind? No, puppies. Oh, oh. what the hell they're doing over there? Like, one of them was like scratching himself, and the other was like. Arr! Yeah, if, if if it came down to it, my mom would have uh, adopted one of them because she 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 wants a German Shepherd, but I'm pretty sure she would be fine with a. Uh, uh... I thought we were down there. Hell, one fifty. There you go. All yours. We were gonna sell them for two hundred, but if it's people we know or we're cool with or family, we discount. Yeah, because yeah, uh, because because my my job my job is actually starting to pay me even better. Um, let's just say my next paycheck is going to be a very beautiful thing. Nice. So, um, take taking care of another. I was, I was a sad face because Black Friday, I literally was trying to. I went all over the place trying to find the GameCube adapter and a GameCube remote. Found the remote, but without the adapter, what's the point of getting the remote? I went to GameStop, which is where I got Smash Bros. I went to Walmart, Target, Best Buy, Radio Shack, all sold out. I was like, damn, people really wanted that thing. <laughs> I mean, you know how annoying it is to play Smash Bros. on that gamepad? I mean, it's not bad. Like, I'm pretty used to playing with the gamepad now because of Hyrule Warriors and Bayonetta, too. But it's just really, really frustrating when you're trying to play online and you're just horrible. I'm more used to the GameCube remote. <sighs> yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I, I pre-ordered it before because I knew I was going to have enough to, to to grab it and Pokemon on the same day, so I, I got them both. I picked yeah, them up together. Luckily, I pre-ordered Omega Ruby way ahead of time and bought it off. So, yeah, I just had the problem of getting to it. Then yeah. I finally got it. Uh, that's while you were working at the other job while you were there, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I thought way ahead of time, man. I really wanted this game. And I gotta say, I'm enjoying this game so much. Yeah, I mean, I restarted it because I don't know. I mean, one one of the things I I, I loved about Ruby and, and Sapphire, and well, I'll, I guess I should say Emerald too. Uh, I just love the sense of adventure it gives you. Yeah, I know. AK AK IGN too much water. Yeah, you know, even though the.